Hello and welcome to the Tabletop Games blog, Play With Me live stream. Today we are looking, well we're actually playing and getting toured Prisma Arena by Hub Games, which is coming up on Kickstarter on the 19th of May very soon, so keep an eye out for that. And I've, uh, my name is Oliver and I've got a special guest today. It is Rory from Hub Games. Hello Rory, how are you? Hey Oliver, I'm good. I'm um, think, trying to work magic here by also streaming <laughs> at the same at time. End, at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can obviously check out the Facebook page. Is it on the Hub Games Facebook page as well? Streaming there as well. Obviously, um, stay on Twitch. Be, yeah. <laughs> um, I had posted that via my personal one. So yeah, I'll quickly also post the link on the Hub Games one as well so people can see it. Brilliant. So yeah, you can join us obviously uh, either here on Twitch or over there. And as always, I'm going to make the video available on YouTube afterwards as well. Uh, maybe slightly cut down versions of any technical issues which I seem to have had uh, a lot recently. So hopefully this one is going to be fine. So if I'm going to switch over to the games uh, table now it's itself, then we can have a look at the game. And Rory, if you want to take it away and yeah. explain how it all works and maybe give us a background, maybe about yourself as well, what your role is within Hub Games and then the game. Sure. Okay. So I'm Roy O'Connor. I'm co-founder of Hub Games with my partner, Anita Murphy. Um, I was created over a game called Rory's Story Cubes, um, which some people might know. Yeah, um, and <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Prisma Arena is like my kind of love letter to uh, arena combat games. Um, uh, like I love playing skirmish games because of their kind of visual spatial element. Um, but over the last couple of years, I've found that they've either been kind of like too complicated to teach to new players or usually uh, quite dark in theme. And I don't think they need to be like that. Yeah. And so I actually with um, John Fury, who is my co-designer on Untold Adventures Await, um, we kind of had a mutual love for Hero Clicks. He played it far more than I ever did. Right. Um, um, but we were lamenting how it had kind of gotten overly complex for teaching new players. Yeah. Um, so he was thinking about doing something and I said, well, if we're going to do it, here's the, like, here's the challenge. I want to create a game that will not only appeal to kind of hero clicks players, but it's a game that as adults, they could theoretically teach to younger players. Okay. And also that younger players could actually play with each other as well without kind of adult involvement. Yeah. So the game is scalable. It, um, has different levels of accessibility. Um, that makes it um, kind of really fun to learn at the beginning. And um, you can layer in more complexity as you're playing um, by by gaining prisoner powers and leveling up. So we've made that all part of the, the gameplay. Okay. Um, so the idea of the game is this is the, the land of Solace, and you are young novices who've been recruited to train in something called Prismacada which is the ability, it's like a martial art where you fight with your inner light and you can channel that into blasts and strikes. Okay, yeah. And you're training to become guardians of hope. Hope is this giant creature that slumbers beneath uh, the town of Beacon where your, the arena is located. And if you look at the board, this kind of like multicolored crystalline structure, yeah. hope is actually asleep underneath this in a kind of a giant crystal cocoon, Okay. Um, which you'll see on the cover of the book. Um, but so we're waiting for hope to awaken. Um, but for now, we're actually in the middle of the time of despair. So despair walks the land um, and basically draining um, everything of its kind of energy and will and passion. All right. So you're trying to protect hope until it awakens and ushers in the new era, which is the time of hope. Nice. Um, so the kind of game originally started with this idea of, you know, the darkness is coming and you have to hold back the darkness. And I wanted a more kind of zen like um approach to it which is the idea of cycles so in this world it goes through the time of despair through to the time of hope which is followed by a time of wonder and then a time of apathy before we cycle back to time of despair right yeah so the it kind of mirrors our like life and civilizations as well um so your young heroes training in essentially something akin to laser tag um because you don't do any harm to each other, it's only effective against despair. Yeah. Um, but you got to train up and level up to become a guardian, so that should the time come, you can protect hope from despair. Um, 
But in essence, we wanted to create a really fast playing over the top kind of arena game that <clears throat> allowed you to do kind of cool moves as you played. Um, but never, I'd say that it's welcome. So the game usually plays in about 30 to 40 minutes. We're probably going to be a bit longer here because yeah. we are kind of playing on tabletop simulator and yeah. we're getting used to the controls. <laughs> Especially me, I've, I've not used tabletop simulator, so Rory's kind of gave me an intro before yeah. we started filming this. Um, and so let me see if I jump in. So, I mean, the neat thing about in the physical game is when you start, you basically take one of your heroes and you get to customize them with stickers and changing their appearance because the idea is that this hero will stay with you throughout the lifetime of you playing the game okay and your hero is going to level up and change and, and gain new powers so let me just quickly show you some examples of like with my character here so you can kind of zoom in on it for the screen so this is like the kind of base character hang on just... um, which one are you sorry I've, I've lost track oh so just over here if i hit tab i can point at the thing uh... Okay, hang on, let me zoom into that. And then, how do I rotate around again? Um, you sh should be able to see, okay, if you just hold Alt over it, it should kind of bring it up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. If you there we go. See, yeah. you can zoom in. Um, so these, these standees are, in the physical game, are kind of double-sided. So let me rotate that around. So you can see here, um, it's essentially the same base figure, um, but using different stickers to change the hairstyle and the expression, you get to change the, the look of the character and personalize it for yourself. Oh, okay, cool, yes. <laughs> um, and then as you play the game and say level up, um, you'll gain new uniforms that you can mix and match on your character. So that'll indicate what level they are within the game as well. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Um, Cool. So I am going to, I think I'm going to play with this one here. So I'm going to stick these back into the bag. Okay. Um, so are you happy with your robot or would you like to customize their appearance? So um, where are mine down in here? So, oh. so this is your your robot just here, there. your main hero. Okay, hang on, let me just zoom into that a bit more. Oh. And I can rotate them around so you can see have a look. So, still getting used to the keys, apologies. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. And okay. these are my different... So, just... so do I have three different characters or...? Yeah, so I'll explain that yeah. now. Okay. okay, cool. So the first thing is you would customize your hero and if you look at the hero card, you can give them a name. So that's what they're going to become essentially your persona in the arena. Okay, yeah. Um, so instead of having like lots of team building and you know deck building as part of the game, we wanted to, to focus players' attention on their hero, <clears throat> and all of the main customization happens through that character. Okay. Because um, as you play, you can acquire new powers, and you can kind of mix and match those powers in different games to give you a different abilities as well. Cool. Wow. Okay. Um, so when we play the game uh, in the two-player format, we're playing with a hero, which is this character here, and we have two Mokon on either side. Mokon are creatures that embody different emotions, so they kind of they represent different emotions for us. So you are joined by Donna over here, yeah, which represents confidence, oh. and Farg, which represents anger. Okay. So thematically, they're going to give you abilities in the arena that kind of reflect that emotion. So um, Dawn is going to encourage you to kind of get closer to your opponents. Right. Um, and Farg is going to lash out. Um, so yes. I really okay. have to watch Farg in the arena. Um, so on my side, I have Agla, who's nervous. So Agla is going to kind of help me to get away from people that I don't want to be near and uh, <clears throat> by warning me and then inu um is provides a distraction ability <laughs> right and so inu can either distract me or you okay <laughs> um, which would force us to kind of shuffle our cards our combo cards and deal new ones yeah um so we're going to start uh the objective of the game is we're trying to score 20 or more points 
Um, and we're going to do that by moving around the arena, striking and blasting at each other. Um, and when we score enough hits to bounce someone from the arena, um, so if you bring up one of your stat cards um, so for people to see, yeah, oh, use him over. Yeah. Um, so yep. if you hold Alt, you'll see there's a set of stats. The first one is range, and that indicates how far you can move. Yeah. And also um, the the range effect of abilities that the Mokon have. Um, the second is force. That's the number of hits you're going to deal um, whenever you blast or strike someone. And if you look at the top of the card, there's almost like there's a hit gauge that yep. we're going to fill up with hits. Okay. And when they become full, which is the hit level on the right-hand side, your character gets temporarily bounced from the arena, and that's when you score points. Okay. So you'll score, like, six points for bouncing a hero and four points for bouncing a Mokon. Okay. And again, the game is going to end at the end of a round where a player has scored 20 or more points. Yeah, okay. Um, so think about, like, laser tag. You're racking up a number of hits. When that maxes out, you get temporarily bounced points are scored and then you're going to kind of reset and come back into the arena the next opportunity you have oh, I see um, that. Yeah. So, so to begin the game we would decide who has the advantage this this token here yeah um and the person who has it at the beginning of a round decides whether they want to um, use the advantage and go first or hold the advantage and let their opponent go first okay so effectively kind of sitting back and waiting to see what they're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll maybe, uh, just for kind of fairness, I will let you start with the advantage. And you can make the call. OK. Uh, if I'm doing this on purpose of that, then I'll get to show you a lot of the actions beforehand. Um, so also just in the game, normally we would um, take turns setting up the arena with different obstacles. Yeah. You can kind of change the layout of the arena. Uh, the game comes with six uh, corner obstacles and six straight obstacles, and they block movement and line of sight for things like striking and blasting. Right, okay. Um, yeah. So I will quickly run through... There's essentially three actions you can t take. Well, four. Um, but there's three basic ones, so I'll show them to you now just really quickly. Okay. Um, so the first one is... I just realized actually you know, I'm going to unlock this board because it's nudged slightly over. I can't pick up that board and move it. Mm. It's weird. Sorry, I'll leave it as That's it right, is. Don't worry. Um, That's fine. <laughs> like slightly off the side. Um, yeah. So on your turn, we're going to take turns activating one character going backwards and forwards until all six characters have been activated. Yeah. So each character will activate once per round. Um, on your turn, you'll take the action dial and you'll rotate it to indicate what action you want to take. Um, so you're going to have the option to move, strike, or blast, um, or combo, which I'll explain later. Okay. So to yep. move, I'm going to turn the dial so that the move action is Spaces. pointing towards the board. Yeah. Okay, and then I get to move equal to the range on my hero, which is zero to four. Uh, when I move, I move um, kind of orthogonally, but I can include one diagonal movement. So I could go, say, one, two, three. Hang on, that doesn't make sense. I'll go like one, two, three, four. And where do you start when you put the hero out then? Um, so we're going to start in the starting areas. Any of here. those? Okay, yeah. yeah. Any of the four starting areas. Yeah, I was just kind of jumping ahead a bit. So yeah. actually, if you do that, uh, if you want to just kind of um, drop your heroes, uh, your characters into the starting area. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't, I suppose, matter okay. necessarily which um, which slot it's they're on. Item. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. No. That board is really not willing to cooperate at the moment. <laughs> um, That's right. I could think we can work out where the barriers is, where the yeah. obstacles are. Um, so like I said, to activate, you'd move up to kind of four squares. One, two, three, four. So yeah. There. So include one diagonal. Um, if I want to strike, um, I would activate the dial, and I can target any character in the eight adjacent squares. Okay, yeah. Um, and when I strike, I deal a number of hits equal to my force. So in 
Uh, and again, we standardized a lot of things in the game. So all heroes have a force of three, all Mokon have a force of two. Okay, yeah. It makes it easy to kind of remember. Um, and then blasting is we target a, a character two to four squares away in a straight line or a diagonal line. And again, we deal a number of hits equal to their blast, to their force. Okay, so how many spaces was that? Two to four. Two to four, okay. Okay, um, just one other thing to note is if two characters are ever adjacent, immediately adjacent to each other, yep. um, so each character has a grapple zone, which is the four squares immediately beside them. Um, if another character enters those squares, they immediately start grappling. So if they were moving, they would have to stop at that point. Okay. Um, when you're when you're grappling, you can't blast either. You're too busy grappling with the other opponent, but you can still strike. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the way to get out of that, which would, would be combo cards, which I will explain now. Uh, so at the beginning of the game, we're going to draw three combo cards into our hand. So I'm going to shuffle and draw three. If you want to do the same, do that as well. Over. So that was so R is shuffle and then draw three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in the game, we wanted the characters to be able to do kind of cool over the top moves, and you do them th through using combo cards. So say for example, uh, let me see, your character was like here. Yeah. Okay. And I had just activated my blast. Yeah. Okay. So I would take um, three hits. I'm just going to show the sequence. Um, so one, two, three hits. And then I would put them onto Donna's character card, yeah, because that's equal to my force. And then I can play cards from my hand as long as the symbols on the card match like the next symbol on the dial. So there's like X's and O's. Yeah. Okay. So if I play a card with an O on it, I basically combo in from a strike to a sprint. And a really simple kind of rule of thumb is an attack always goes to an act, to a move, and a move always goes to like a blaster strike. Right. So now what I could do is um, kind of sprint, so I can move up to six spaces. So I go one, two, three, and I'm maybe going to go to there. Um, and then I can keep comboing as, as long as I have the cards that allow me to combo. So then I could combo into a, an evasive strike. I would deal three hits, but you can only take one more because that's your limit. Um, that would bounce you from the arena. I would score points. And then I get to kind of finish my combo, which is to move one square. So I could kind of like jump to there then. Okay. And yep. You would be taken off the board, but because you haven't activated yet, you could still come back in the next, this round. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, I usually what I say when I'm teaching this is by the second round, you'll know exactly what it is that we do. Um, you need to do. Uh, you'll have done everything in the game. Sorry. Let me just stick him back there. Um, you're right back. So he was there, wasn't he? Yes, that's it. Yeah, okay. So now you've seen my secret cards as well. <laughs> Sorry, I can redraw if you want. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Because <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll show one of the other abilities in the game. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, have you any questions before we kick off? I think that's good. The only thing is, at the moment, I've got a top-down view of the uh, arena, which obviously doesn't really show off necessarily the mm. heroes. I mean, I can hop over them, I guess. That's probably um, enough. I have, so I actually have tokens in here. Um, ah, okay. If you want to play with the tokens. Uh, Just wondering whether... So that... yeah, this doesn't have the magic of uh, Tabletopia. So basically, ah, uh, gotcha. I can see them loading now. So if I drag them out of the way, yeah, yeah, I think that that'd be good. Brilliant, thank you. And then last last thing is, how do I okay, actually so rotate the thing? Um, so same as tabletopia, Q and E. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Lovely. Okay. And then okay. there we go. Sorry, this board is really driving me nuts. You know, <laughs> I think it's a snap toggle. 
Is it so? Has it snapped into place <laughs> in the wrong place? Okay, let's see. That's really weird. I should be able to pick up that fort. It's just not letting me. Hey, can you pick all of us up, but not... Yeah. No, yeah. As you say. Even though it says the board when I, when I drag as well, but... Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll lock it. I'll, I'll fix it up. It's very strange. Okay. Um, do I seem to be making it worse? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Seem to be jumping, don't they? Yeah, it's moving everything bar the board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, okay, let's just play with what we have. Um, yeah, I think I know where the bits are. We'll be, we'll be all right. Yeah. What I'm going to do is actually turn off the grid on the characters. So then they won't actually. Oh, I see. Then you can drag them. Yeah. They should be able to go into place. Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'll just work on this here. Um, okay, they should do it now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Like I said, playing in the tabletop simulator always takes a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that's gone uh, that way. Okay. So let me just reset the dial, and we're ready to begin. So you have the this is the beginning of the round. Um, you have the advantage, um, so you get to decide: do you want to use the advantage and kind of activate a character first, or do you want to hold the advantage and have me activate a character first? Well, I think I'm going to be brave. I'm going to activate a character first, and I think I'm going to start with my hero card. So I've got zero to four movement. Um, three attack and I've got like a six health so to speak so if I I'm just going to zoom into there there we go so if I'm going to rotate my dial to the move oh that's gone too far can I go backwards <laughs> oh I, I think we know what, what, what I've, I've zoomed in there so I can now move f up to four spaces yes and one of them can be diagonal yeah so am I going to be, let's just see if I can work out, I think we're quite a way apart, so I think I'm going to be uh, brave, going to work. one, two, three, four, up to there. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, my cards don't allow me to combo with that, if I'm correct, oh well, yes, I could combo. So I've got um, various I, cards I could potentially, but I don't think they're useful yes, because they're too well, far away. <laughs> yeah, you can't play a combo card unless you can actually trigger its effect. So yeah. someone would have to be within kind of striking or blasting range. That's it. So it's um, over to you then. Yeah. Um, so actually, I just noticed with your dial, I'm going to do something just really quickly here. If you go up to your, I think you've hidden it though, the top menu bar. Yeah. Um, there's a degree rotation symbol. Ah, no, I have, I, have, I have hidden it, but I can't, I can't work out how to actually get it back again, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so I'll be leaving. It's okay. Um, so I usually set it to 30 because it makes it kind of easier for rotating the dials. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, okay, so I will, just for the fun of it, I'm going to activate uh, Inu. Oh, still moving. I don't mean to zoom in there again. Inu, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, before I move, I'm going to use Inu's ability, which says distract during a move action that Inu performs. They may also target a friendly arrival hero within range. The hero's controlling player must shuffle their hand of combo cards back into their deck and redraw that many cards. Oh, okay. So I just realized that was actually a really bad idea. <laughs> you can have um, a take back, it's okay. Was, no, it's okay. Um, so I'm going to add them back in. Yeah, I realized I had actually a good card in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not too bad, actually. Okay. Um, and then I get to move four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four over that way. And I'm just going to fix. Sorry, I'm going to like 
outside your house. So, yeah, your... that's fine. Yeah. So you got any combos? I guess you, again you haven't because you're probably uh, the striking no. distance. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how do we know that we activated someone as well? Is it just um, because the dial won't be on ready? Uh, so if you look in the dial, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it's on ready. It will tell you it's ready to activate. Gotcha. Oh, very nice. I love the design. I love the colors and and the illustrations. Well, who did the design? Graphic design of it all? And oh, it's a whole combination. Like there's a, a team of different illustrators. Uh, Kieran Lucas designed the did the artwork for the board. Uh, Winnie Sheck is our in-house designer. Yeah, and she did an amazing job in the overall aesthetic of the game. And um, Sean Galloway uh, worked on the character designs. Right. And PJ Holden, who's actually a dread artist with 2000 AD, um, is actually local to us here. He worked with us in the studio on a lot of the like character customizations and the stickers. Okay. Yeah. Nice. As well. It was quite a big um, nice group of team people. Effort. Yep. Yeah. Right, in the meantime. So I've activated Inu and it's back to you now. Yeah. So I've uh, just having a look at what the other characters do for me. So Fog. Um, here I must immediately blast or strike arrival before friendly current. Uh, it may move one beforehand. I quite like Dorna, the confidence in her, so I can move her. And during a move action, uh, they may also target friendly with range. And then move one, uh, move one space the hero towards arrival, ignoring grappling. So does that mean I'd have to be in range first, though, to be able to move closer? At, at, at during, so it's either before you start moving, while you're moving, or immediately, like, after you finish moving. Okay. So I'm going to move um, Dorna. So again, I need to rotate that around to the moving. Being careful not to rotate. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then let's have a look at the board. Um, let's move. I'm wondering if I can do one two three four move next to my robot i don't know whether that's a good good idea or not <laughs> but that's that's probably something to try and then so so with this ability i can now move the hero towards arrival yes so that would be potentially um inu well to, yeah to any so i mean you could essentially move into any of the three squares i think that's okay good. right just literally in that direction Okay, I'm going to, in that case, move my hero diagonally as well, I guess, yeah, into there. Okay. And then I think that is me done. Um, okay. Uh, that's... Okay, yeah, I think I have a nice... One, two, three. So I'm going to show you something that you can do. Yeah. Um, remember I said there's like the three basic actions? Yeah. You can also go straight into a combo if you want. Oh, OK, yeah. Um, because you can see the two other X's and O's yeah. on the dial. So I'm going to do that to show you. And that's why like, you can always kind of catch someone off guard a little bit. That's um, OK. It's the point of the combos. I'm expecting to lose uh, this one. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do too much damage. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my hero um and go straight into a sprint oh hang on let me throw my card okay so i've turned the dial to Ooh. the o symbol yeah keep moving the camera so doing... to zoom in apologies right there we go instead so, of yeah sprint will move one to six yeah so instead of doing a regular move of four i'm kind of like sprinting forward so i'm gonna go one two three four uh where do i want to go five maybe to there Okay, and then I'm going to uh, actually, that is wrong. I'm going to have to stop there. Okay. And then I'm going to do a diving blast. So I'm going to chain the cards together. Move one, ignoring grappling. Um, yeah, so I get to move one. Yeah. Ignoring grappling. And I get to blast with a force of minus one. So instead of hitting you for three, I'm going to hit you for, for two. two. Okay. Drop them of your character. So I'm gonna put them on. And so the reason why, you know, I'm actually putting my hits on you is because in 
later in other games when you start getting powers, yeah, you can kind of like hold on to hits as a way of protecting you or transferring hits. Or if uh... we're playing in a multiplayer game, you'll have hits on you from multiple different characters, yeah, and you're going to score points for each hit you have on a character when they get kind of bounced from the arena. Okay. So it's kind of a good practice to get into now as you're playing to actually put your own yeah your uh, own tokens onto a character when you hit them. Okay. Um, so I'm done with this now. Oh, I, I completely forgot to mention this. So one of the really neat things in the game is when I'm finished um, performing a co- combo, yeah. I discard my cards to your discard pile. Ah, nice. Okay. And you're, and you're going to get them later in the game. And the, and the kind of the idea is that we're sparring with each other, so we're kind of learning from each other as we play. I like that as well. I always like that in the games. I mean, uh, yeah. is a comma card something similar where you basically, you, know, you play a card on someone to really do something evil to them and then they can decide to keep that card and obviously play it back to you later <laughs> so nice <Yeah. laughs> that's also um, a nice mechanism and also that last card i played diving blast doesn't have a linking symbol on it so it actually kind of terminates yes okay so the idea is like you've done a dive you've blasted you can't really combo into anything else after that okay cool so Let's have a look then. Where, what, what's the situation? So I've activated obviously my hero and Dorna, so they can't do anything directly. But is there anything that Fog would allow me to do? So when Fog is bounced, um, that's fine. It's not happening. Uh, let's see if I have. I haven't got any really anything that I don't think allows me to do anything too exciting. One, two, three, four. I'm not getting into range, I don't think. So the range for attacks for fog um, would have to be right next to the person. I remember of that. Um, so depending on whether you have a blast, oh no, for fog's ability. Yeah. I oh, know that, that, that's uh, that's just when they get bounced, isn't it? So fog's ability yeah. doesn't doesn't apply. So just normally then, um, if I do a blast then i'd have to be in in range of yes, my movement could, basically yeah, yeah. Okay. straight or diagonal line and i don't think you can get there unless yeah. you have like a sprint yourself no unfortunately not so again i think i'm just gonna move in to close up mm. and back up my team <laughs> not quite sure whether that's happening but we might have to change strategy so one two three Four. So we're all together. Mm-hmm. Huddle tactic. And okay. uh, so. I'm just actually going to have another look at my additional cards in hand. So mm-hmm. people can see it. And obviously, you could technically see it as well if you were watching on Twitch. But I've got a forceful strike. I'm going to share this with you. Not that it necessarily okay. helps. Um, but I can strike and then move one uh, t- towards the target. I've got a grappled blast so grappling sounds mm-hmm. interesting so you blast with force minus one and then you move one ignoring the grappling and then you've got a direct yeah. blast which is also quite nice so they might oh, come nice. in okay. yeah quite a few attacks yeah. coming your way potentially yeah okay but i think that's so all i can do why, <laughs> well this is why uh, this is actually going to so actually you moving far there has kind of changed my plan a little bit uh, good. Um, in so a good I'm way activate, I, <laughs> no so well it's yeah it's good for you uh, so i'm going to activate agla and agla is going to move four one two three four to no i don't want to go there because i'm directly in line of fire uh i'm going to stop here okay stop here. Uh, maybe i'll stop here and i'm still one two three four away from my hero yeah so i'm gonna oh, that really doesn't help uh, i'm gonna warn my hero um I forgot, I have to move them towards Agla, which <laughs> is going to bring me to there. Right. So, so what I'm looking at is I'm still in line of fire. Yes. Those um, heroes. Uh, oh, if I want to. Oh, do you know what I should have done? Yeah, you can have a take back on. You move it over there if you want. Okay. Yeah. So I would. I should have gone that way. And then, and then you would have I would obviously pulled there. that way. Yeah. And then yeah. you're out of, out of range. <laughs> yes. Out of immediate like, damage. But I think you've got enough attacks there to do me some harm anyway. Um, so we finished activating all of our characters. Yeah. So we basically turn the dials back using Q or E to rotate them back to their ready position. Yeah. Um, then we, so we've done that. 
we get to draw two combo cards. Two. Okay. Yeah. No, our hand limit at the end of the round is four. Right. So you're, you're going to have to discard one at some point. Okay. Mm. Let's have a look at these new ones. Um, I've got a barge, which sounds nice. Extra movement. And a throwing strike. So with four zero to one, a friendly or rival character move one to two the target, ignoring character scripting. Interesting. Okay. So I guess now it's up to me to decide whether I want to go first again. Yes. Or whether I want to give you the advantage. So this token I'm holding mm -hmm. on to. If I hold on to it, then I let you go first or? Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you flip it, if you hit F and flip it over, you're using the advantage and you get to go first. I think I'll go first again. I like the advantage. So F, flip it over. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so you need to get rid of one of those cards. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, okay. Um, I've got so many. And you just discarded to here. To up there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get rid of my grappled. Uh, sorry, my direct blast. Yeah. There we go. I'd, I'd highly recommend that you hold on to that one. Okay, right. <laughs> Because <laughs> that can essentially one shot a Mokon from your hero. Okay. Ooh, well, I've got so many attacks though. Um, I want to get an attack. So the, the thing is, you always have to combo between them, so you're always going to go from a like one to the other a move to an attack. Yeah. So you kind of want a mix of moves and attack. I um. What about a forceful strike? <laughs> There's so many. Th or I could get give you the. Barge. I think your grapple blast. Your grapple blast is probably the best one to get rid of. I would say right now. Get rid of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. That's so going to do the least damage. Damage back to me. Okay. <laughs> right. So. So you're using the advantage and you're going first. Yep. So, if I move right next to a character with my hero let's see how that plays out still trying to mm -hmm. get used to what all these things do, yeah do. so if you use are you using q at the moment or e e sorry would q be easier yeah, so if you use q yeah it's a shorter route okay. to get where you want to go oh yeah gotcha that way around yeah sorry my fault yeah gotcha rotating that way i think on tabletopia cube is just like 90 degrees and then he is just oh yes 45 degrees or something like that um so i can move one even just two if i wanted to mm -hmm. right next to you so does ha anything happen straight away now that we're next to each other no, no. you'd have to do a combo if so you want to do something i can now do my um Let's see how this plays. I'm going to try Direct Blast, I think. So if you have a look at that card, that mm -hmm. Blast with Force plus one. So my normal Force is three. So I now Blast you okay. with four, correct? So, yeah, but you would have to be two. Remember I said for Blasting, it's two or four squares away in a straight or diagonal line. Okay, so if I... So, so you could stop there or could have, there, um, there, or there. You know, or there. Right. Yeah, I'm going to stop there because that okay. would still be, I think, my four steps. Yep. That's right. For Blast, has to be further away. So, yeah. where are my tokens to put on you then? Or have you got them up so there? They're in your bag. Ah, here. in my bag. Okay, gotcha. So, one, two, three, and okay. four. And then, do I just highlight them? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Nice. And I'm attacking the hero. Yeah, this character. That's yep. it. Okay, now I could combo again, which I will. Um, so you can. I know, okay, the blast is. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't. I should have looked. Because so I was so clever now, thinking I could combo with the barge after this, yeah. but that's fine. Do you have a different one you want to use instead? I so if you went straight into a strike, yeah. maybe. And then you could finish on that one if you wanted. Because I, I was thinking I could then barge towards one of the other um, characters. Hmm. So, a really nice 
combo to have done would be, um, yeah, to have come in and done it, performed it like a strike on my hero. Yeah. And then use that to essentially take out a Mokon because it'll deal yeah. four hits to a Mokon, Mokon who only has a hit level of four. So do you want to do a take back? And... That's fine. We'll, we'll keep it for another go. There's still the combo there. Okay. So I'll be a surprise combo. <laughs> okay. You don't know it's coming. Uh, <laughs> so. So I have to discard see. my card over to you again. Yeah, so that's going to go here. Um, there you go. So now the thing is, you finished like in a perfect line for me yes. to just blast you back. Blast me back, exactly. That's fine. You go for it. Uh, so maybe I will do that. Uh, so I'll blast you for three. So that means I've, I'm one away. Yeah, from getting bounced. From getting bounced. Uh, so it's that. Um, do I want a combo? I'm mean, so I'm debating now whether I want to. Actually, for a bit of fun, <laughs> I'll, What's that I'll combo because it you're trying to be as efficient, I think, with your actions as possible. Yes. So I'm gonna move yeah. one to there. Am I in the line of fire of anyone? No. Um. Let me just go there, and then I'm going to barge you one Yeah. that way. Okay. Um, so then when I get to activate Inu, Inu gets a, a shot on you. Yes, thank you. I was going to do the other way around, but <laughs> played the wrong card. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm getting it now. That's the thing. As, as you said, you know, it just only takes a few turns, and you're starting to realize yeah. how it all works. And, I th I... and like the, the lines and the diagonals are all really important. Yeah. Because if people have said it's... I mean, it's obviously not chess, but it's chess like yeah. where you have to think about where you end up. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, so back to you now. Okay, so I get these nice cards. Um, let's see. So, so in, in theory, with fog, I'm in diagonal line. So I could do a blast on you. Is that right? Oh, I totally. <laughs> Yes, I thought I had ended up in a safe line. When I when I play on TTS, I always get my lines wrong. I know. I'm, I'm so, yeah. you. I prefer to like the physical game in front of me, but that's fine. Yeah. So essentially, I'm right in Farg's line of fire. Okay. Let's do that. Let's 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 exchange some. So I want to go. Um, I'm not clicking on it. Come on. There we go. Okay. It's rotating. Wasn't rotating then, right? Okay, so I can blast you for. Oop, what's going on? Stop rotating afterwards. Okay, there you go. so I can blast you for. So you're gonna two. blast the hero. Blasting the hero, for yeah. Two. Is that right? Because that's the yeah. force, yeah. So that's gonna hit. That's gonna, yeah. So that's gonna add two more hits to me. So you don't need to take my out. So I get bounced because I've got six hits on me now. Oh yeah, cool. All right. right. So I'll show you what happens. So I get bounced. I leave the board. And you score a number of points equal to my hit level, which is six. So you're purple. So you're going to go up to, uh, let me just check. I'm in the right place. Yeah, six. Yeah, I rotate around it. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that I've gotten up to it. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Yay, I got my first points. So well played. I'm now wondering my barge that I could in theory combo off this is not going to help me a lot. Um, well, it would just oh. allow you to move two positions, but you're not really targeted by anyone. No, but I'm thinking if I then kind of combo move, that I with a strike or something, but that I'd, I have to be close to a strike, don't you? If I had a blast, I could then move closer to uh, uh, Agla, is it? And then maybe do a blast, but that's not going to happen. So, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that as is. Yeah. Um, I'm getting all strategic now. <laughs> Okay, so are you going to do anything or are you going to hold on to that card? That's it, I'm going to hold on to it. By the way, I'm always ignoring the uh, Twitch chat. Okay. Richard is actually in the stream. Hello, Richard. If you still are, I don't know when these messages were sent. I hate it it doesn't update on my screen who's actually in the chat. I have to keep refreshing it. There you go. There's a few people in there. Commandeer Root, uh, Nag 2012 Kims3739, and Lurks apparently in there. So I think Richard might have left by now. But nice to have seen you. Okay, 
Um, so is it back to me then? Yes, all yours. Okay. Um, let me see. So. Ina can certainly I, attack um, me. Or my hero. Yeah, well, I'll. I'll... Oh, actually, hang on. Leave me hanging there for another round. <laughs> no, I can't actually afford it, because if you move Donna... Oh, I see. You then you get attacked back. Theoretically. But I don't think... Yeah, but I don't think you could actually get anywhere where you could get me. So I'll take a risk. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate Agla. Yeah. And move... One, two, three... Four. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a reason why I'm going after Farg first because he's just more of a nuisance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I, I need to take him out while your hero is not on the board yeah, or yeah. not anywhere that it be, can do harm. So I'm going to combo into a focus blast. I quite like Farg. I don't uh, know what, what the problem is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, see, anger can be a good thing. Um, so blast, ignoring blocking characters. It just doesn't really matter. But I'm going to hit Farg yeah. for two. Okay, and I'm going to stop at that there. Because I know I'm going to have the advantage next turn. Yeah, because so. Far can't do anything. And you yeah. can then do whatever. Okay. So, yeah, so I can only activate Dorna. So here's, um, you know, giving some tips. This is somewhere where you might actually consider using that barge. Because it could... Um, move one, two. If you could move Farg out of way, out of the way. Yeah. So that I can't target him. Okay. So for so that, I, I think... could literally just rotate. Um, so you'd go to the combo symbol. Yeah, yeah, and that one there. And then use the barge. Mm -hmm. So bring it on screens. Moving, I can. So that means I can move one to two spaces. Yeah. And I move an adjacent character one space. So, so I. So even before you start moving, you could move Farg. Uh, so adjacent in, in this case would be diagonal as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So yeah, Farg could basically move actually behind there. Yeah, I don't know why I told you that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're too kind. You want me to win. That's that's it. That's fine. That's good. <laughs> and then Dorna. So on and the next round basically you you have the advantage if you want yeah. it and you've only l got in you left to activate to attack my hero so, so i think your hero is going one way or the other yeah i was going to say there's nothing i can do about that so dawn can just run mm -hmm. hmm. two potentially i'm going to be brave with dawna because she's confident, so oh. you might as well move into the middle. And I need to okay. rotate tech. Uh, so she can't actually move that far because it's two spaces, and you can only include whenever you move. You can only ever include one diagonal. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. So, well, well, in that case, she doesn't want to yeah, actually go that there. way. So I want to go. Wow. I'm just going to go one forward in that case to there. Okay. So I want to be away from. No, actually, I can just go. One two around the corner or one diagonal. Yeah, I'll stay there. I think that's that's the best way. Okay. Okay. So I need to discard that over to you. Yeah. But nicely played. You've kept Farg alive. Yay! A For how long though? <laughs> well, long enough to get your hero back into the board. Which, that is which true. Is kind yeah. of what you want. That is true. Um, so like Farg is just there to kind of he's a real disruptor when <laughs> when you're playing. I like him. Um, so uh -huh. Inu is going to, right, because I want to blast you, um, I don't get to use my effect because I'm only using that during a move action. So I'm going to yep. go straight into a blast okay. and hit you for two, which will be enough to take you off the board. So, so I'll take my hits back. So I'm going back on the dial. Yeah, so I basically reached your hit limit of six. Yep, so you get six points as well now. And then I score six points. Oh, we're neck and neck. Nice. Okay. With a bit of help from you. Oh, I should have played that over to you, actually. Hmm? With a bit of help yeah. from you, though. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so that's everyone finished 
activating. Yeah. So we're going to reset our dials. So like I said, by the end of the second round, you, we've apart from returning a character to the board, we've done everything yeah. um, that we need to know. So we're going to draw two combo cards. Okay. Now, because you've used the advantage, I get to take it. Yep. Flip it over. Okay. Now, hmm. I really got to get Farg off the board before <laughs> you do anything. <laughs> uh, let me see. Does that one doesn't really make sense? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to activate. So I'm going to force activate Aglet. There's not a whole lot else I can do. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three. And I will dual strike, um, which means I can either strike kind of normally, do a full strike, or I can strike with force one twice. Oh, I see. In this okay. Case, I want to do a normal strike. Yeah. So that's two hits on Farg. Yeah. And Farg's limit is four. Um, which is going to bounce Farg from the arena. Yeah. Um, but because your hero isn't on the board, their effect doesn't trigger. Yeah, so if you have a look at that, when bounced... Um, because it uh, says, yeah, exactly. when Farg gets bounced, yeah. their, their hero must immediately blast or strike. Yeah. But they're not on the board to be able to do that. Okay, well, that's something to remember for next time. So that's why I kind of hacked... Yeah. I had to do that first, because otherwise, if your hero came back in, I was in deep trouble. I quite like that. Um, as all these and I'm going to score four points, because that's Farg's hit level. Yeah. And that, it's the number of hits I had on him at the time. So that's going to bump me to ten. Cool. And I'll take them off. Though. Yeah, and I'll use. And I think I probably need to run away because uh, essentially, if you kind of like spawned there, or, like came back into you. the arena yeah. here, you could just activate and blast me straight away. Yeah. So I'm going to form a leap. Let's have a look at the. Leap oh, card. actually, hang on. Just for the fun of it. What you can do now? Uh, would I do that? Sure. I'm going to leap. Uh, one. Uh, I can ignore characters and go oh, two, three. So I'm actually going to leap all the way over you. both of you. Yes, and then and then I will combo do again. A, Let's have a look forceful strike. Strike the move. Which okay, is um, strike the character and then move the target one space ignoring grappling. Yeah. So I'm going to put two hits on to Donna, and then kind of shove you back that way. I think. Nice. Can really imagine um, how this actually works. So what works. I'm doing, whenever I'm playing this game, I'm always trying to think: How am I forcing you to use cards and actions yep. to get in attacks? So kind of making. Like, I know you'll probably take out Agla, but I just want you to have to work for it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Put all these in your just. Cool. So I just want to point something out here. So, um, and this is kind of the balancing mechanism in the game yeah when a hero comes back into the arena before they enter if they have the lower score they get to draw a combo card okay and does the so hand limit still apply then or coming back into the arena and, and you get to look at it before you actually place the character onto the board oh okay um one two three four blast I'm tempted to actually do that. So I can basically draw a card now. And then... So it's over to you now, Oliver. Yeah. So I can actually uh, draw a card. So if I put the hero back in... Can... I seem to have lost your audio. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. And I think everyone else can hear me. But let me just message Rory. We disconnect and reconnect. And so for some reason I had that before. Maybe sometimes connecting again works. Video connected. Can you hear me now? Hey. Yes. Okay. Yeah, as I said, we had that before, unfortunately. Don't know That's why yeah. my um, this Discord does that. I'm going to explore different voice channels and see um, whether different tools work better for me. Not quite sure what's okay. happening. But we're back online. That's the main thing. So if I bring my hero back into the arena... 
Yes. Uh, then I can basically draw a card first. So if I'll do that yeah. first. Yeah, so if you declare that you're going to activate them. Yeah, I'm going to activate my hero. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw the combo card. Um, actually, I could have just pressed one. That might be easier. There we go. And what was the limit? Five or four cards? Um, so during the round, it's uh, unlimited. Okay. But at the end of the um, round? Yeah. Okay. So generally, it'll be four or five cards. So, I'm just thinking one, two, three, four. So, if I uh, activate, oh, bring the, was it activate the hero, is it? No. Yeah. Yeah, activate that hero and bring it back into the arena there. Mm -hmm. Let me just have a look at these cards again. So, I could do a weave, one, two, three, four. But then I'm not actually close enough to strike you. Hmm, I don't know whether that was, a, that was the best option, but there we go. We've done it now. Well, do you have a, a blast? I don't have a blast. No. Uh, if you come in from the other side. Oh, I see over here. Yeah. One, two, there we go. Yes, thank you. Again, helping me. <laughs> so if I... I could just do a basic move action in that case. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Right next to Agla. Yeah. And then I can do one of these strikes. So let's have a look. Do they? What do they do? Strike the move. Um, strike with force and move one to two or move and then strike. I think I'm just going to do a normal forceful strike. So let me just have a look at that again. So that just strikes with, so that's attack, uh, what does it mean again? Three, is that right? Yes. So I give three, put three tokens on Agla. Mm -hmm. There we go, move that up there. And then move one. So that move one is that you move the target one. The target one exactly. So there's a really good position you can move me into. What up there? Yeah, just there. Because then, because yeah. um, I goes finished activating, so basically Donna will be able to blast. Yeah. Them, unless I can do something about it. But I've no combo cards, so I've no real tricks up my sleeve. Let me just see. Control. So you had three. I could probably kill you off potentially i'm going to do this mega combo if i can <laughs> okay i don't know I'm, I'm probably wasting lots of cards and also yeah, but don't waste your cards yeah i see so, gotcha okay yeah no so in this case <laughs> it's so tempting you might though. Be better off. <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> i know i've seen people like spend all their cards just like it's like a scene from indiana jones where they're just like hand waving yeah when they could have just like punched um all these effects. so if you what might be worth doing is going after inu because you know Donna can finish off Agla. Oh, I see. And there's not a whole lot I can do. So One, if you could get two, the Inu, three, you could probably use your combos. Yeah, so I've got a weave. Yeah. I could combo off that with a weave, which allows me to move one to four, ignoring grappling. Mm -hmm. So again, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And then I can do another strike. So what does Inu, Inu still at full strength? As a hit level of four. So. Yeah, she's at, at full strength. And these don't give me... Yeah, okay, I'm going to then do a throwing strike. Okay. So that one strikes with four, zero to one, a friendly or rival character, and then moves the target one to two. So I'm just going to do, obviously, one damage. Mm -hmm. Put that on Inu. And then I can move the target one to two spaces. So I might as well just move. Uh... Oh. Sorry? Here's the thing. Ah. Um, Inu's going to get to activate next. Um, so I can either, if I'm not in grappling, I'll get to run away. If you pull me and keep me in grappling, yeah. then. So which would be kind of this Next, square, right. I guess. Okay, yeah. Um, it would mean 
yes, I might do a hit against you, uh, but you're going to basically pound me the next next one. Round. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. Thank you for the help. And that okay. I think is me done. So I can get rid of these Discard cards, them. but not my token. Uh, can I do that? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm going to do them individually. One. Oop, put them in the bag now. Whoops, yeah. that was the unintentional. I, uh, I'll do that. So let me, I'll just search and pull it out. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't see the bag there. Apologies. <laughs> okay. Have you discarded it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. So I, I dumped it here again. Thank you. So I'm trying to remember what cool moves you pulled off that I'm going to get to like replicate loads later. <laughs> loads of strikes, uh, definitely. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm going to bring my hero back in. And I do not let's see. I don't have enough. Um, I'm still ahead, so I don't get the bonus of drawing a card. So I'm going to drop my hero. And while I'm checking, is this line of fire? If I actually start here, yeah. you're one, two, three, four squares away. Yeah. So I am just going to blast you for three. Thank you. That's much appreciated. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, over to you now. Okay. So I think you've got Donna left. Yeah. Oh, and Fark. I've got Fark. I could reactivate him. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So if I was diagonally next to um, Agla with Fark, if I brought him in. Mm -hmm. Could I still strike you from there? Diagonal, does that count or does it have to if be? If you were here, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. So it's any of the eight squares around. Let's do that then. So I'm going to activate Fog. I don't get to draw mm -hmm. a card, do I? It's just a hero. No, yeah. Yeah. So activate him there. Then do the move. Mm -hmm. So one diagonal, two, three, four to up there. And then I can do a, I could have even done a leaping strike, but it doesn't matter. Could have moved some more. So a leaping strike there. So that allows me to move and then strike with force minus one. So my force is two. So I get to uh, strike with mm -hmm. one. So you're going to hit me for one, which is all you need. Yeah. Oh, how do I yeah. get? So do you want to use that? Do you want to use that extra move? No. Or are you going to kind of factor it in? I think I'm gonna. Well, I could actually. Um, I could move away. Could I? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Because you, you. Exactly. Have I was to gonna say. Was, yeah, I was gonna say. No. In that case, I'm just gonna stay there. I think. And okay. you know what? It might work as a way if you were to go one, two, three, four to like move you forward. To there. One. Yeah. No, I don't want to be too close to you know. I think probably she's gonna oh, die yeah, very actually, soon. No, so you don't want yeah. <laughs> So fair enough. Okay. So basically, so that's, that's the last you, attack. Or Agla. Yeah. So that's Agla off the board. And then I can um, take my tokens back. Yeah. And so that's four points. Four points. So we're back ten ten. Nice back and forth. Okay. And then so I might discard my I've cards got, to you. Yeah, I've got. Um, Ah, no. I just want to see if I could warn my hero, but because I'm in grappling, I can't do that. So uh, <laughs> I will activate Inu, and Inu is just going to strike you for two. Okay. Which is just okay. Just shy. Just shy one. Yeah. Close, but not quite. Okay, and that's you done. Yes. Okay, so the final one is Dorna. Um, she feels a bit useless at this stage. So on the next turn, the next round, you could Yeah, so have... I should have flipped this, actually. You're going to get that back. Oh, okay. In which case, I might actually just move forward with her. Or I could move... Over to Eno, it doesn't really matter. 
I'm just going to position myself in the center of the board, I think. One, two, about there, three. Not quite sure whether that's the best position, but that is okay. it. So we reset our dials then? Yeah. Ooh, I'm rotating. <laughs> Uh, and then draw two cards. And then draw two cards. All right, there's only one in the stack, so do I yeah, flip that? So you're going to flip that. Yeah. And shuffle and draw, yeah. Actually, can I just rotate it? Does it matter? Probably doesn't, does it? Flip that. R it for shuffling, and then draw one more card. There we go. Okay. I quite like that because so I can now decide so I can take that token and go first um, so technically I flip it back onto the green side rotate it to me but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna use the advantage so I'm gonna go first mm -hmm. so I need to flip it again is that right yeah back to the purple side okay so the obvious one would obviously be I'm um, using my hero to kill Inu, who needs three, yeah, d three damage. So I'm going to do a blast with my hero. Okay. And I basically... Just, uh, do, you need to do a strike. Out. Ah, I see, because I'm, so I'd have to, oh, okay. You're, you're grappled. Uh, well, one, because your, um, the range means it would have to be a strike because it's adjacent. Yeah. And also you're grappled, so you can't actually blast. Because I, I was thinking, what well, do you might go for my hero? And I realized actually because you're grappling, you can't. You know, okay. you're not able to blast. So I'm doing a strike. So a strike, which is another three hits. Yeah. So that's going to score you four points. So you're now on 14 to my 10. Nice. And then Inu comes off the board. Yes. And then... Do I want to combo anything off it? So it's you next. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm going to try. Uh, no, I'm going to. Mm, probably going to be dead very soon anyway, but then that's six points. Now I'm going to do a leap, I think. So that allows me to move, if I hover the card, two to three spaces. And I think I'm going to go one, two, three, round the back here. Am I in? I'm sort of in diagonal range. But you'd still have to get them closer. Right, we'll we'll do that. We'll see what that does. I think that's me done then. Okay. Yeah, you kind of mess with my plans. Good. <laughs> oh, this is great fun. I really enjoy this. I can see playing this actually with her daughter as well. How old is she? She's 13, so she's that sort of age. We used to play loads of games with her, like Lords of Waterdeep, when she was about 10 or something <laughs> like that. So she really got into it. But as you can imagine, as a teenager, she's not quite so interested now. I know. I always think there's that period when they want to kind of like, your kids are just want time with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they'll do that. But then afterwards, they're like, no. Nah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, I have no interest. But I think she quite enjoyed it because it'd be like a proper battle. And if you get my wife to join us as well, it's probably not her quite quite her cup of tea. But yeah. you know, three of us playing, I think that'd be quite fun. So what do I need to do? I'm not going to get you. Okay, I think I'm going to have to. Oh, I could do this actually. So I'm going to activate Agla. Yeah. Uh, go one. Two, three, four to there. Okay. So um, I'm going to warn my hero. Oh, yes. And move the one okay. towards me. Yeah. And then I'm going to combo into a dazzling blast. Oh, that sounds amazing. Let's have a look. Um, 
So it basically hits you and then moves you one. Okay. But I realize it's actually going to take you off the board anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I should have, you know, I should have done. I should have, yeah. Use it on your euro. Anyway, so that's gone off the board. And okay. I score four points. So she goes back on that dial. And you get your tokens so 16 back. 16 all. 16 all. Okay. So it is quite close now. So if I give you your tokens back, oh, that was only one. Yes. I just like several. Is it control click or? Oh, you've got yes, a Mac of me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still control click actually on the Mac as well. Uh, don't seem to be able to click, click them both. Is that there? Or if I even. Oh no, I got it now. Right. Yeah, I did. I did control click. I just didn't press it properly, and I can drop those back to okay. you. There you go. Help each other. I find that with these online games, you have to sort of help each other out. As one person is doing one, someone else needs to do something else. Okay, so... So if I can take out your hero this round, it'll trigger the end game. Yes, okay. So you got, obviously, the blasters now. There's no more... Or oh, there could be a combo. You've I'm got not, nothing else now. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to combo. Okay. So I've got... Dorna and Farg left. Well, Dorna's off the board, but she could reactivate. One, two, three, four. And Farg, one, two, three, f Yeah, so I'm going to activate mm -hmm. Farg. Yeah. And okay. going to get him to move. One, two, three. Which so means I'm in blast distance to um, Agla. Yes. So if I now do a focus blast. Nice. Which is literally just ignoring blocking characters, just normal blast. So that's mm -hmm. uh, th uh, two attack, is it? I have to remember, yeah, two. Yeah. So I'll take, I'll take two hits. Okay, so I'll give you these two tokens. And Good. then, do I want to run away? <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that card for later. So I'm done. So I'm gonna discard okay. this card to you. So, I. This is like, uh, what we call a hail mary. <laughs> maneuver. Okay, go on. So I'm gonna, finish I'm finish gonna me off with a really good combo. <laughs> I'm going to try. Um, so I'm going to activate my hero. Yeah. And we haven't actually used this yet because we've been like, oh, yeah. we haven't had to. I'm going to use my hero's strategize ability, which says during this hero's move action, you may draw one combo card, then put one card from your hand on the top or bottom of your deck. Oh, nice. But this hero may not combo this activation. Okay, right. What, what I'm doing is I'm trying to plan for Inu. Yeah. So the deck is empty. So I'm going to yep. flip this and shuffle. And that's going to become my combo deck. And I'm going to shuffle it. So I get to draw one. Hopefully it's a blast. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I so don't want to know, I don't think. Uh, so I'm going to flip that. I'm actually going to put that to the bottom of the deck. Okay. But I won't increase the chances of what I'm going to get next round. But I do get to go first next round. Yes, you do. So then I will position Inu for blast. Uh, so I'm going to activate Inu. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I was going to say, it's my go. I, I, no, I I, no, I should have finished yeah. my hero's activation. Do, you, do the hero and then, yeah. Yeah, so I will go one, two, three. there okay and then that's you done because you can't combo because you just yeah used a special it. ability okay so the only one i've got left is donna now let me see uh during a move oop, i have to hover over during a move action Dawn performs they may also target a friend here with range yeah don't think I can do that. So I'm just going to activate Dorna and I'm going to do move action. Question is, can I block anything? Attract anything on 
two, three, one, two, three, four there, I think. And yeah, and that's that's me done. So is this now the big finish? Okay, so, so yeah, now I'm not gonna get to it. <laughs> uh so I'm gonna activate Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, I am gonna do like this is my last ditch attempt. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. So I'm gonna end up in line of fire. Yeah. And then I'm gonna distract my hero. Yeah. Which puts the combo card back into the deck, shuffle it, and I get to draw one card back in. Oh, not all of them. Hang on. Whoops. <laughs> that was weird. That's okay. That's the trials and tribulations of online games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are acting really funky. There you go. You know what you're doing. Okay, so let's get them back in. So what I'm hoping is that I will draw a lap. So. Second time lucky? Yeah. yeah. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I will stop there. Okay. Oh, so close. Close. So we get to reset our dials. Yeah, I'm going to give you the token back. So now the thing is, the game doesn't end. So, yeah, so I'll talk about it after we kind of reset. Okay. Oop. And then I need to. Uh, so I highlight all of these and then I can rotate them almost together. Oh, other way around. Should have not rotated that one, that doesn't matter. Right, that one back to ready. There we okay, go. Okay, and then draw two cards. And then oh yeah. I'll need those. Oh no. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. I think I'm quite happy. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> So you. So I've got my hands in my <laughs> in my hands at the moment because what I have to do is try and figure out how to take you out. Yeah. But also stay alive. Yes. <laughs> long enough. Uh, hmm. Your hero is surrounded. That's all I'm saying. Certainly <laughs> <laughs> <Sitting> is. <laughs> uh, I have some cards up my sleeve. Um, okay, so I think. You want to go first, probably, don't you? <laughs> yes. And so I'm going to go first. Um, oh. Oh, man. So I could either be really efficient and just blast you. Or I could move and distract you and hope I disrupt your hand because I heard you kind of like oh, I be see. quite happy about it. Yeah, okay. I didn't and say that. It's a terrible hand. Uh, <laughs> it's the uh, worst hand ever. Right, I'll take a risk. I'm just going to blast you for two on your hero. Okay. So the hero is um, dead. Which is going to knock them out and score me six points. Yeah. So I'm on 20 now. So that triggers the end game. Okay. This is our last round. Oh, I'll take them back. Yeah, you got them. So basically, we're um, all taking a turn each now with our characters, and then whoever's got the most points. Mm. Maybe I... Okay. I'll hold on to my cards. You can hold on to your cards, okay. Mm. So, so what happens now then? So this is the basic last round. So we all take our turns, and then whoever's got the most point at the end of it wins the game. Yes. Yeah. So basically, I need to try and do as much damage as I possibly can. Yeah. So a good target would be Agla, who's already got two damage. Yes. And he's in blast distance of Farga. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Fog. But the hero is as well. Now, can I do lots of damage to the hero? Hmm. 
Well, I think I'm just going to do a blast with fog. So let's do that. Turn that to blast. Okay. And then. That's going to hit me for another two. Yeah. So that's Agla bounced. Thank you for the tokens. And you get four points. 2018. So I could now do a barge, which I have Humble. after this, which moves up to two spaces. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start using my cards now. So I'm going to do a combo. I'm going to use barge, mm -hmm. which allows me to move two, up one to two spaces. So I can go one um, there. Yeah. And I could do a diving blast. I could have actually moved further and then used the diving blast, which gives me another move. But I don't, do I need to actually move that? That's just optional, isn't it? Um, you would have to have moved one before, and then use that. So if I so you can still kind of time it so that you can end up in that position. Yeah. So basically, I would have moved the same over here earlier, and then move one back yeah. there or something like that. Like if I, if I was being super competitive, you would have said no. I'd too like, late. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, to make it qualify, you'd have to have moved back one square. Oh, back one. Oh, okay. So I could could go there. So I had to move earlier two spaces from I think I was here. So I could have mm -hmm. moved one. Can you move back on yourself again in a move? No. no. One, two there, and then move back there now. Yeah. And then I do a blast with force minus one. So there's only one damage onto your hero. Okay. But it's I, I done it. Okay. I got them, yeah. Thank you. And then there's no like further combos. Yeah. yeah. So right. I can, oh, I just got the one. That's fine. Let's grab the other. So just before we um, we kind of get into these last actions, yeah. Um, a reason for like constantly kind of fighting to score twenty points, even if you don't think you're going to win. Yeah. Is because as part of the game, um, if I flip over your card while it doesn't have anything on it, yeah, you'll see um, there's like a training log on the back of your card. Ah, uh, okay. And so every time you play the game, you get to tick off two boxes. And if you score 20 or more points, because you've trained extra hard, you get an extra point. Okay. When you, when you fill up a row, you level up, and that's when you start gaining access to Prisma powers and you unlock the, the next uniform for you to be able to wear within the arena okay. as well. Um, and likewise, as you play with the Mocon, you tick off the box in the bottom and when that row is complete, you level up. Uh, you gain a level that way as well. Okay. So the goal is uh, over multiple games, you will reach level four, which is Guardian, and have access to a whole range of Prisma powers. So it's still worth just keep keep fighting just to try and get the points. Yeah. yeah gotcha. So if, if you think, even if you don't think you can win, if you can yeah. find a way to get 20 points. It's still worth it. So in this yeah. case, you might say, well, I'm not going to win, so I'm going to concentrate on taking out Inu. Yeah. <clears throat> because then I can, um, yeah, get, um, I'll get closer to getting more powers. Okay, cool. Because uh, the whole game celebrates and kind of encourages, you know, play rather than necessarily just, just keeping, yeah, thrashing right. your yeah, opponent. Exactly. Now I was wondering whether mm -hmm. I could get around to Inu my next go. Well, sorry, I'm going to be really tough now because Far came after me. <laughs> uh, so hang on. So, gonna... so I did go first, actually. So I activated Inu and took out your hero. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So Far is still in my line of fire. You could try and get uh... rid of Dorna because Far can't activate again, of course. <laughs> Yeah, but he's right there for me to blast. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, though I could, actually, if I did that. That's not good for me either. Gotta be really careful, because you're kind of close to me. Yeah, and I still got my hero to activate as well. 
So yeah, and you're going to get an extra combo card. Yeah, so you don't want to get too so, close. <laughs> yeah, so I need to, I need to take Bargo. Uh, so I'm going to blast him for two. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so one, two, and then I do I want to do that? You think of uh, I'm gonna leave me as a. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave myself as a sitting duck. I'm gonna barge. Yeah. Uh, well, I have barge. Which way can barge? Uh, well, I'm thinking I might actually barge Inu somewhere a little bit safer. Oh, I see. Yeah, just use that ability to move in the adjacent space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna go one, two. Yeah. And I'm gonna play a leaping strike. And one Which knot. is, I get to move one. Um, <laughs> Come closer. And I get to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I yeah, I know. I'm totally doing this. Um, <laughs> I get to strike with force zero to one. Oh no, I'm getting the wrong one. No, I get move one, ignoring dropping, then strike with force minus one. So I'm going to hit you for two. Yeah, so which is enough to take out Farg. So Farg has gone again, and you get another four points. Yes. Which I think I'm going to need because you're going to. So if I move your token up 24. 24, yeah. Uh, so go. if you actually, if you take out my hero, you're going to get a draw. Yeah. Sugar. I should have stayed away. <laughs> well, never mind. It's it's nice to finish on a draw. You know, first game. Yeah. So you, you did give um, me a win, so... but you give me a draw. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so. Over to you. Um, yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to do activate my hero. Mm -hmm. So I draw one of these combo cards. Yeah. Ah, that's okay. And oh, not drag both of them. Don't want the action token. All right, just that. On to here. And then I can do. Uh, one, two, three, f not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I can then go to a combo option straight away. Mm -hmm. And there you go, sprint. I've got a sprint, yeah, exactly. So I play the sprint, which allows me to move up to six bases. So I might as well go one, two, three four five he's gonna start charging charging straight in and now i've got forceful strike so um so that basically right so you're gonna hit me for two for three and then move yeah. me and i'm <coughs> gonna oh, sugar i'm gonna move you in line with um donna so is that right? Can I move you to one to the left? Well, for my angle to the left. So yeah. over to there, which is a new and blast range of Dorna. Yes. And that's me done. Um, okay. Uh, I'm sorry for doing this, but I have oh, to. Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> so I'm one more trick up your I sleeve. I got <laughs> Who is going to one, two? I'm just going to move to there uh, and shout and warn my hero okay. to move me back one. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough. I think that's that's. It's allowed. funny because it, it it's one of those. Every time I work and play with the the Mocon, yeah. I, you know, I think, oh, this one's underpowered and this one's overpowered, and then I play a game with them, and then suddenly, and yeah, they do something really <laughs> useful. <laughs> I oh, know it's those little, little little powers that do make the difference sometimes. It's just they don't always come mm -hmm. out. That's why I always hate when people shout and you know play a game a couple of times and go, "Oh, this faction or whatever is too overpowered." No, play it a few more times and then then decide because you'll yeah. probably find there are situations it might not suit your player style or something, but give it a go. Right? Are you doing any more combos? Um, no, no. That was that was <laughs> like quite enough. I to get my hero. Out I'm just way, so. I'm just gonna do a little move with Dorna. Why not? So anything you can at least come in and grapple me. Yeah, I was going to say. Um 
and you could you could send your hero in closer to me as well like in the threatening yeah i might do this this was finished in a very threatening position so yeah. i'm gonna go one two no i might as well move there yeah really matter. Send grapple from two positions yeah. grapple and then i can move my hero to there yeah and then that's i've got no combo cards or anything so that so is... they're like they're about to like yeah strike me when, when the, the bell rings. When the bell again. <laughs> yeah <laughs> here like, Phew. so here's the score on the doors um oop, if i get the yeah. other way 18 to 24 well you know yeah. it's, it's well deserved you've played very well you obviously played this so, game before <laughs> just a few times um but i mean you, you played really well um if, you. if you look at the number of hits that um my hero has on yeah it was so uh, close so to it catch actually up. only it only needed that blast from Ag well from, uh, from Donna, Donna, yeah if Agla hadn't to, been able to push the to hero out of the way that would have definitely yeah. happened well it was really um, good fun there's, there's an option in the um if there is a draw you can play to kind of like um kind of sudden death so the the first player to bounce a character wins the game then ah uh, okay so it means like that if someone has a lot of points sitting on a character um they can kind of quickly do that and kind of win the game afterwards okay yeah okay yeah, well so this prison arena this this was really good really enjoyed that so I need to need to play it some more times if I can. So maybe we can have a chat afterwards to see if I can hold on to it. Um, I guess I've got the copy of it, haven't I? So I'll yeah, so you have it. access. Um, I could just play it. It is on um, TTS if, if any of the kind of viewers are interested. Um, and if you want to make a note, like you've earned two points. On two points. Your training log, and you okay. need six to level up. I, I've made a note. Uh, two points. So next time I play it, I start games. higher. <laughs> yeah. So if you come back. Um, in a later game, we can kind of play and introduce the idea of Prisma Powers okay. as well and see how they work. Yeah. That sounds um, good. Okay. That um, was really good fun. Just to give a quick shout out, obviously, that this is coming to Kickstarter on May 19th. Yes. Yeah, so well. uh, we're going to put a link on the video. As I say, it's going to be on YouTube as well. We're going to put, put a link on there. So May 19th on Kickstarter. Keep an eye out for it. It's going to be, yeah, really good fun. Yeah, and, and like as you can tell, the spirit of the game is really kind of bright and over the top, um, yeah. and really accessible gameplay as well. But like, I'm kind of curious, like, what would have been? I always ask people, like, what was a memorable moment for you? Well, in the game? I think that, that this finish was definitely memorable. This was probably the the best closest finish um, I've probably played in any game for a long time now. <laughs> Just these last couple of moves, and then you get Agla in there and and push the hero out of the way. That was fantastic. It sort of came right down to the wire. And so. and you have to know, yeah, you have to know your Mokon and how to use them. Yeah. So, and, and that is the idea of like, you have to get to know your emotions in this game. I was going to say, I think, the, I think there's a few more th things I have to get used to how, how these work and what the combos or what the additional powers I could have used that might have helped me. But, um, you know, I think with any game, it's, it's one of those things where if you have like an asymmetric game, you do need to learn mm. those and once you've played a few times. But what I really liked about this, as I say, you, you, you taught the game as it's on the stream. I've not played it before or anything. I've never tried it before. So for people watching, I would learned it as you saw it and, you know, nearly beat Rory here. Well, at least drew with him nearly. Mm. So you can see you can learn it really quickly and really easily. And yeah, that I think that's in itself is impressive. I like games that you can literally set up quite quickly play and it takes a few turns and everyone knows what they're doing and have a good time you don't get that very often these days that, no that's true and that's i mean we kind of really want to go when people kind of hark back to games they played you know when they were younger we yeah like, part of it is that kind of quick setup and, and getting into the game really quickly so we really worked hard to streamline that. that aspect yeah. of the game yeah and 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 it's not even like a very simple game. You know, some people might say, "Well, there's not not many not many rules, so it's going to be rather boring and and basic." But no, there is a lot of strategy, a lot of tactics, a lot of responding, and and I think that that shows that you can make a really well, I wouldn't say complex game, but a really interesting game with just a very basic set of rules and obviously with variability. So there, are how many uh, mocons are in there in total? So there's eight mocon. So you, the game, and I guess. On Kickstarter, so the, the the core pledge, I guess, is going to include the whole game. Have you got like additional versions or? Deluxe? So we're not. We're intentionally not going with stretch goals. Like the intention of the Kickstarter is really, 
um, we're going to be starting supporting store based play with the game. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, and the plan is that we will have a launch kit for stores where you will get um, essentially extra copies of the figures in the alternate um, kind of outfits. Okay. Yeah. And extra, and extra stickers for them. So it means if no one's ever played the game, they can walk into a store and start playing it straight away. If you've backed the game and you come to the store and play, you're going to get extra standees, which you can have essentially as kind of like guest characters. Yeah. Um, because the way we've set up the game is you have your hero cards that where you're going to be leveling up the characters, so the ones we have in front of us. But you also have guest cards that don't level up, and therefore like friends or people who are coming along, and they get to play a once-off game. Okay. So essentially, yeah. by going to your store, you'll kind of almost like be getting stretch goal content, because <clears throat> that's what we want to we want to really support store play with this in a, a really kind of I think we're calling it like community play rather than organized play because it's not designed to be super competitive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of really our our focus of it, and the point of the Kickstarter is the more people we know that are kind of interested in the game at an early stage, we can kind of invest more into that community play. Yeah. yeah. We, um, we really want to encourage that side of things. Oh, that's amazing. I, I like that, that you're supporting the stores. I want people to come in and play it and try it and then hopefully walk out with it afterwards as well. I think that's that's much needed, especially at the moment, well, to get that support. Pretty, in. Yeah, I think we're pretty confident that once you play this, um you'll want to have a copy yeah <laughs> I, I think um you know because the price point is um like 40 dollars, so it'll be 30 on kickstarter um so you're getting a pretty good discount wow um on the base game um so it's a kind of great way to get it get into it um and it's really good value for money for a family or like that people who have enjoy skirmish games to but don't really have other people to play with because they're not interested in the maybe the complexity or the aesthetic. This really scratches that itch. I was um, going to say, I'm, I'm a short play time. Are these sort of uh, tabletop games where you move your figures around and look amazing? But <laughs> if you want to play mm -hmm. something simpler where you don't have to worry about all the measurements and the movement and all that, this this would definitely scratch that itch. I mean, I was just envisioning it how I'm actually playing. You know, you all sorts of things come into mind, whether it's Tron or some <laughs> other games, you know, or films. It just it brings it to life. I think it works really well. And and that price point, did you say thirty dollars on the Kickstarter for the core game? Yeah, that is. I mean, yes. that's amazing. That's nothing. That's definitely. I mean, I'll, if I can be the first backer, send me a link. I'll try and be backer number one. <laughs> Please do. I mean, it's funny when we designed it. I like when we approach a game, we we try to think about the audience and who's going to be playing it. Yeah. Um, and we try to price the game accordingly. So for this, we really wanted it to be a family friendly game. Yeah. Um. Again, like I said, there's content in it that's going to make the game even more tactical. Yeah. Um, but like literally said out of the box, we wanted something where it could be bought as a pre you know, a birthday or Christmas present for someone. And again, that's partly why we're running the Kickstarter now. It's to ensure it's on shelves for Christmas. So yeah, good point. Yeah. There's a very fast turnaround on this game. Um, we're planning it to kind of um, go to backers in late September. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. So it's all lined up and ready to go then. Yeah. Amazing. No, that's 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 the other thing with Kickstarter. People expect to wait for a year, but this is a huge, quick turnaround. And as you say, with this sort of game, you can give it to someone, they can learn it, and by the sounds of it, you literally just, you know, as the more you play it, the more you improve your characters and things, and, and you discover new ways of, you know, the, the new, uh, more complicated strategies and things. And, and I guess... If you play with different people as well so so that's maybe one question actually so if i was playing this with my family and then invited someone mm. else around and want to play with them how would that work could you just basically reset it for them or how would you go back so we, um so the <clears throat> it's a double-sided board for two-player and four-player games um set up a slightly different for four-player uh or kind of for three and four player and there's also a team game variant which is probably my favorite okay. multiplayer one yeah because it does a couple of things quite differently that you don't expect in that kind of 2v2 type game. Yeah. Um, so if someone came over, you would basically agree what level you're going to play at. So if you've been leveling up your character, you imagine you're in a dojo and you're training with someone else. Yeah. Even if you're like a master, or in this case, a guardian, you're not going to bring all that to bear against 
a, a beginner, a, a, a new player, <laughs> you know, or new trainee. Yeah. So you would basically agree to play at the lowest level of the characters. Okay. Um, so if that's level zero, you wouldn't play with any powers with each other. Um, if you were level one, then you'd all have like one power. Okay. With you in the arena. Yeah. And you would have a bigger power set to choose from because you'd been training for longer. So again, <clears throat> in the spirit of the kind of the idea of training and the kind of martial arts aspect, you might choose one that really gets to show off some of the coolness of Prisma Kata to the novice player to interest in, in the game. You're not yeah. necessarily going to pick the one that's going to kind of, you know, make the game more fun yeah, for yeah. them. Yeah. Um, you just want to kind of show off some cool thing that you're able to to do in, in the arena to make you go, oh, I want to train more and get that power later in the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's designed for you to um, choose what level you want to play at together. Um, and if you're playing a, like a two-player game and you're on different levels um, and you still want to play with your power, so you were like level two and you were playing with someone who's level zero, yeah. the way you balance it is you start the game with two hits on your uh, character. Okay. Um, so that acts as a kind of a balancer for it um, and just enables the player to get a quicker kind of um, KO and bounce and score some points to get them into the game. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's easy to just basically mix and match and play mm. with anyone and, and work it out. No, it's amazing, I think. As I say, I'm going to have my eye on it. So if people wanted to find Hub Games and obviously the Kickstarter as well, obviously, uh, as I put links on it as soon as we got them, but um, where can people find Hub Games and find out more about the game? What's the best so way? So you can find us across Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as we are Hub Games. Um, and you can also head over to our website as well. Um, we'll have a newsletter there that people can sign up for and keep informed. And is there like well, a Kickstarter holding page at the moment for the project? It is. I'm not sure if it's live yet. I think okay. it's going up next week. Um, but even if you, if probably the best thing is if you follow us on any of those three platforms, you'll get a notification uh, as we head into this. And we'll be doing more live plays. We're also doing like a weekly team chat every wednesday night over on facebook oh, okay um, where we'll be kind of talking about kind of some of the secrets behind the game yeah as well and also we just get to learn about the team we usually uh spend most of the time laughing <laughs> as we're to yeah. each other. <laughs> i like that cool so yeah as i say I'm, I'm gonna as soon as the kickstarter page or the preview page at least goes live i'll add a link to that and obviously add links to we hop games and things to the video here on Twitch while I'm there and as I head over to my YouTube channel as well once uh, things go live I'll add things there and as I say follow We Are Hub Games or Hub Games and um, be... okay and well uh, that's all then thanks very much to say and all we have to say really is goodbye bye